question five. Okay, question five is actually testing students on the topic of chemical bonding, but there is also uh, a bit of atomic structure knowledge required here. Okay, so when uh, if you are going to attempt a question on chemical bonding, of course, you need to have the knowledge on atomic structure. Okay, so you are given diagrams or structures of two atoms of elements P and Q respectively. What is the mass of one mole of the compound formed by P and Q? So whenever you have this type of question, what I would do is to actually identify what is P and what is Q. So how do you identify atoms? You identify atoms based on proton number. So identify atoms based on proton number. Why? Because the number of protons of an element does not change. Okay, so P, you realize that it has three protons. This has to be your lithium atom. Okay, refer to your periodic table and look for the element with proton or atomic number three. That has to be lithium. Okay, I put a three at the bottom because that is your, uh, this is part of the atomic notation that you guys have to know. All right, so uh, what is the nuclear number or the mass number? It is the summation of the particles in your nucleus. So in this uh, atom, right, P atom, I have three protons, I have four neutrons. So my nuclear number is just seven. Okay, so this is the atomic notation that we are talking about or that you guys must be able to write, for exam, in case they ask for this in structured or paper two. Okay, so what about Q? Again, it has eight proton, and what is the element that has eight protons? It is your oxygen element. Okay, but then refer back to the diagram or to the structure to determine the nucleon or mass number, eight plus eight, 16. So this is the atomic notation for oxygen based on the diagram that is provided to you again okay so again let's uh let me remind you how to write your atomic notation this would be your symbol x is symbol a is nucleon or mass number b is your proton sorry proton or atomic number Okay, can this one you all must remember uh, in case it comes out for structured, you need to be able to uh, represent or write out the atomic notation correctly. All right, so now we have lithium and oxygen. So lithium atom, it has one valence electron. It is a group one element, alkali metal. It will lose one valence electron to form Li plus, correct? Li plus. Oxygen, on the other hand, it will gain, gain two electrons to form O2 minus. Okay, so the second step, right, it is to write the correct, correct formula of compound. And for Li plus and O2 minus, the formula is based on a cross method, Li2O. After you get the formula of the compound, then you can determine what is the mass of one mole of the compound. In this case, let me find the MR first, two bracket seven, right? Seven here, two times seven, because I have two lithium ions, two times seven plus one oxygen ion, sorry, oxide ion, which will be 16, 14 plus 16, it is equals to 30. Okay, so essentially the question here is asking you for the molar mass of the compound. Molar mass, molar mass has the same value as MR. In this case, the MR of the compound is 30. So the molar mass of Li2O, it is also 30 gram per mole. But molar mass have the unit lah gram per mole, okay? So the answer for this question is D. Okay? 